Hi, welcome back to the channel. I'm Michelle, and today I wanted to share a quick video on the supplements or vitamins my family members use. So we are a family of five. I have a seven-year-old daughter, a four-year-old daughter, an 11-month-old son. My four-year-old has celiac disease, so all the vitamins and supplements I'll be showing you are gluten-free. Um, three out of my five family members have autoimmune disease. My husband has diabetes. My, I have hypothyroidism and my daughter has celiac disease. So I think vitamin supplementation is important. I wish we could get all the vitamins and minerals we need from our food, but I think our food has changed drastically in just the way it's produced and what's put in it. So I do supplement with um, vitamins. So let's start with my husband. We'll go oldest to youngest. So my husband takes this Nature Made Diabetes. I'm not a big fan of Nature Made, this, but it's his body, his joy. So a little packet of vitamins. There's a fish oil here and other things. Uh, I'm not a fan of Nature Made because it's lab created vitamins. And I, I prefer food based vitamins when possible, but this is his choice. For me, um, I'm still nursing my 11 month old, so I take Baby and Me 2, and this is what I took through two of my pregnancies. And I take the two specifically because they do make a Baby and Me, just a regular Baby and Me, but it has a herbal blend in it that contains raspberry, red raspberry leaf tea. And I, my body does not like that. I don't respond well to it, so I get the herb-free. This is the herb-free kind. And like I said, I took it through both pregnancies. Worked great. Really enjoyed it. This is a food-based um, vitamin, so all the nutrients in it are derived from food, not just created in the lab. And what I really like about this is that it has folate instead of folic acid. And if you didn't know the difference, the majority of the population can't actually metabolize folic acid and especially when you're pregnant you want to make sure you're getting enough folate um, for the baby it's important so I really like that they are food based and that it has folate instead of folic acid in it and uh, now that you know my son's 11 months so they just came out with this and it's the postnatal and it's just a multivitamin very similar to the Baby and Me too, except it doesn't have something specific in it. I don't remember what it is, but this, the only difference is it has smaller amounts of some of the ingredients, like I think <sighs> iron is slightly lower than you would typically need in a pregnancy because so, it's a postnatal but they did increase certain vitamins because of lactation support and postpartum hormones. So they switched a couple things up. I encourage you to look into it if you're curious. Um, they also included an herbal blend for lactation support, which I appreciate. So it's already in there. I don't have to take something else. I've never had an issue with milk supply, but I'm curious to see how these compare. Because like I've said, I've taken these. I take these during pregnancy, before pregnancy, during pregnancy, and when I'm breastfeeding. So I've always taken these, and that's put five years of my life right there. But I noticed that they came out with the postnatal, so I'm gonna be trying these next to see how they are. But again, same thing, has folate, which I appreciate, not folic acid, and it's food-based. All the ingredients in it are derived from food. So that's my multivitamin. I also take a probiotic. And I took this during pregnancy too. And it's a pretty small amount. It's only 20 billion. Um, I do like the Garden of Life brand though. I think they're really great. I take this uh, a smaller amount, mainly because I get probiotics from other sources too. I eat yogurt daily. Again, check your yogurt to make sure you're not just eating sugar-filled yogurt because there's a lot of yogurt out there that's just not that great for you. But um, I do coconut milk yogurt unsweetened, and I put a little honey in it when I have it. But I get probiotics from other things, fermented foods. But I like to have this as just a little something extra, especially since I'm nursing. I like to make sure my son is getting the most he can. Uh, and then for fish oil, I recently started this. 
This can be found at Costco, um, Amazon also has it too. It's a liquid fish oil. I got lemon cream. Uh, I usually do Nordic Naturals postnatal, but I just started doing this because my entire family can take this, opposed to just getting a separate fish oil for myself. So I take this and my girls take it. My son is not old enough. He has no supplements or vitamins um, in this video. But we take this and it's delicious. It tastes like lemon cream pie. It has no sugar in it, which I really enjoy. Um, so it's easy for my kids to take it. Just two teaspoons, uh, I believe. Yeah, two teaspoons daily for kids four and up. So we all take this every night after dinner. And again, it tastes like a treat. It tastes, I know they make an orange cream too. So I look forward to trying that. But it's liquid fish oil and um, it's supposed to absorb better, have a higher amount. So we've been trying this out and I like it. My kids like it. So it's always easier when you can get them to take their vitamins. And then my daughters. My seven-year-old daughter takes this multivitamin. And what I like about this is a couple things. It has um, vitamin D3 and a proto organic probiotic blend already in the vitamin. So it's two vitamins daily. What I also like about these is they're chewable. I'll show you. They're kind of, they look like, if you can remember what Flintstones look like. They're chewable vitamins and they come in, I have assorted flavors, so it's orange. Uh, I think, oh, cherry, orange, and grape. So I have the assorted flavors. I got chewable because I know gummies are really popular right now, but for, first of all, the gummies usually have added sugar, which I don't like. This does not have added sugar. And again, gluten-free, everything we have here is gluten-free. So it's a gluten-free um, vitamin option. And gummies, besides having added sugar, I've read that just like fruit snacks, they can get stuck in kids' teeth between the wedges and stuff, and they can actually cause more cavities because it's pretty much like having fruit snacks every day. So dentists have seen a rise in that just because of all the gummy supplements out there. So I prefer something they can chew because obviously my kids aren't old enough to be swallowing pills. And I didn't want something that was in gummy form because of the sugar and the potential uh, added cavity issue. So really enjoyed these. And again, it has the added uh, probiotic, and again, it has folate in it instead of folic acid, which I appreciate. And then my, and again, the girls take the fish oil that I just showed you too. Then my four-year-old, because she has celiac disease and is currently healing, because she was just diagnosed um, about nine months ago. She still, her gut is still healing, so she takes her own probiotic. Again, I really enjoy the Garden of Life brand, I really enjoy that it's no sugar added, gluten free, and uh, it's a chewable, just like the others. And it tastes good, she doesn't mind taking it, we call it her tummy vitamin. So she takes that, just to help with that extra gut health and healing, because I know her body's still trying to recover from a lot of that. So she takes that. And then uh, <clears throat> at her last doctor's appointment, she was still slightly anemic, so the doctor prescribed her liquid iron. I'm not so happy, like I'm not really happy with this brand or um, I guess you would say the supplement of this, but I haven't found anything more natural. We do perform more natural things, um, but I haven't been able to find something iron supplement in liquid form that's hits that category and right now what's most important is that her iron levels go up so she takes this daily until um, she's no longer anemic all right and i think that's it so those again are all the supplements we take all gluten free uh mine and the kids are all dairy and soy free too because my son can't tolerate dairy and soy. I can't really tolerate dairy and soy very well anymore. So um, dairy, soy free, gluten free. And I usually get my vitamins from Vitacost. I spend about $100 a month and that might seem like a lot, but again, a lot of this I see as preventative medicine, um, nutrients I'm putting into my body to keep myself healthy, which 
especially during this time, I think is important. And again, things like the probiotics, I think are good for my daughter, her healing gut, I mean, gut health is extremely healthy um, and an important thing to do. So we do supplement with that. Fish oil, I think is really important for brains, especially children growing and learning. Um, and then my husband takes whatever he thinks is best. So if you have any questions, let me know below. Hope that helped. Thanks guys.